Hello and welcome to Show and Tell with me, Stephen Leslie, the series where usually I show you some photos and then tell you about them. Uh, but today I'm going to do something a little bit different and I'm going to show you just one photo and then read you a story inspired by that image. Um, so it's not really show and tell, even though the last time I did this, I think I called it show and tell, but back then I was naive and uh, inexperienced. Now I'm a bit more mature and I'm starting to get my head around this whole thing. So I think I've got to call them uh, a separate thing. Maybe I'll call them stories from Sparks and put them in a playlist. Anyway, I'm going to shut up and tell you the story. So sit back, relax and get ready to have your minds blown by this. The girl in green has been following the bubble's strange orbit for almost a minute now. She has convinced herself that if she can be there when it pops, she might be able to inhale the breath of the boy who blew it, the boy she loves, the boy who never pays her a moment's attention. The woman with the tiger and leopard print trousers and the dragon's tail is getting ready to blow smaller bubbles for her daughter in the floral buggy. When she does, the baby will have a new first memory, the slightly distorted image of herself and her mother with a tail, tinted purple and green, hovering above her own head. This treasure will float in her mind for just under a week until it bursts and disappears, gone forever. But before then, her mother will turn slightly to the right, causing the lizard tail to pierce the girl in green's precious sphere for a mere millisecond, the tip will push against the meniscus of the bubble without breaking it, like an IVF needle under a microscope trying to breach a human egg. Inevitably, though, it will pop, taking all the girl in green's hopes with it and scattering them to the wind. And all the while, the young man in blue watches everything, not blinking once, hands in his pockets, while the acid in his brain fizzles and bubbles making him believe that not only is this whole display put on purely for his own personal entertainment, but also that he can control it all with his mind. He can make the boys in front of him drop their spinning Diablos. He can communicate with the baby and, if necessary, rescue her from the dragon woman posing as her mother, and he can reassemble the bubble for the girl in green, hand it back to her and win her heart. And who are we to say that he's mistaken? So I hope you liked uh, that story. Um, that came from my book Sparks, which uh, was out a few years ago. Now is sadly completely and utterly sold out. You can only buy ludicrously overpriced uh, secondhand versions, probably being sold by my parents over on eBay. Um, however, there is a new book called Mostly False Reports, which uh, all things working out uh, well should be available sometime next year. Uh, which isn't that far away, is it? Crikey. Uh, and you can sign up for the mailing list for that down below. Um, and yeah, um, thank you very much to everyone who subscribed thus far. Next week, I'll be doing another show and tell about a photographer. Um, I'm not going to say who it is, but I'm really, really excited about it. Been doing loads of work on that one and I've got some great stories to tell. So uh, thank you so much. Also, if you've got any other suggestions of other photographers uh, that you would like me to do films about, then please just leave some suggestions in the comments below. I'm, I'm always open to, I'm going to say the word suggestions again. I'm always open to suggestion. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Uh, take care. Have a nice weekend. Speak to you soon. Bye.